Alright, my name is Nathan, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple uh, Blender movement script. So, uh, first we're going to make our base for the cube. And uh, now we're going to make sure that it's under the cube. We'll see why you are doing this later on in the tutorial. So, uh, now I'm going to change the color of the base to little bit just so it's not the same color as the cube so you can see it a little bit better and uh, now we're gonna change or we're gonna change the name of the cube to player alright so um now we're gonna make sure that the camera tracks the player so uh, we're gonna call this run once because it's gonna run this once make sure that that little dot 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 is not checked we're gonna add a camera con actuator call it track and um, we're gonna set the QB to or OB to player we're gonna connect all these and uh, now we are going to set these values just random we're probably gonna have to set these a little bit different later on because uh, these can be a little bit tricky that sometimes so alright so we got our cameras done so now we are going to start adding our players movement keyboard sensors so we're gonna call this first one forward we're gonna call the second one left and uh, we're going to be using WASD for these so uh, if you want to use the arrows that's fine it really doesn't matter but make sure that you uh, name these accordingly so and make sure the dot 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 is checked on this on these sensors so that it's not all choppy now we're going to add our Python uh, controller gonna name it code gonna make a motion actuator and call it movement we're gonna connect all of these and uh, we don't have to set any values in the movement actuator yet because the script is already is gonna set it automatically so this is a lot easier way to do it than most people do it so it, it kinda saves some uh, some well room and it makes it look neater and it saves in uh, computer resources when you're running the game we're gonna name our uh, text script movement and na put the script parameter in the in the code controller to movement so that they're linked now I can start with the code cont equals game logic dot get current controller this basically just uh, gets the current c the controller that's linked to code, which is the uh, or that's linked to the script. So, which is uh, code. I'm just gonna set these buttons down here. All right, I'm gonna leave little notes for you guys so that when you download this, it's not well. You can look back to the notes a little bit. So now we're going to declare our sensors. So uh, we're going to name this first one FWD, which is short for forward. Cont.get sensor FWD basically just uh, just gets the sensor named FWD that's connected to uh, the cont or the, or the controller. So we're going to do these for all the forward, left, right, and back. Alright, so now we can start declaring our actuators, which is basically just the movement. So, 
Here's the little note. All right, we're going to call this move equals cont dot get actuator and then we put in our uh the movement actuator which is called movement. That's why we uh named these. All right, now we can start with the uh with the events which is when the keys are pressed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, if is usually the statement you'd use, and the, if forward dot is positive, which is means that if the forward key is being pressed, then, oh, I forgot. All right, we need to, we need to first declare some variables to, uh, that which are going to control speed and forward and forward, back, and left, right movement. So we're going to start with f b equals 0 and l r equals 0 and then we are going to declare our speed equals say hmm like point zero 0.05 yeah, that that should be right. So if forward dot is positive, then F B equals speed. This is just you'll you'll see while we're doing this in a in a little bit. L if is pretty much if the first thing isn't positive, then it'll move to this piece of code and see if this is positive. So, then, if back is positive, we want to reverse, so FB equals negative speed. So now we got our front forward back events declared. Now we have to do left and right. So, if left dot is positive, then LR equals speed. L if, which is short for else if, right dot is positive. L R, we want it to reverse, so is negative speed. So now we just put these into play with move dot set D L O C, which is D lock or D location or I don't know exactly what it stands for. We're going to set it the first one to FB. I'm going to change that to 0, 0.0. Sorry for the skip there. We're going to set uh move dot set D rot which is turning. We're going to set the first one to 0, 0, 0.0, the second one to 0, 0.0, the third to LR and true which is just localizing it. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to add the uh, game logic dot add active actuator and just put movement in there. Forgot to add that in there. Sorry about that. So now we have our basic script. Um, sorry if this tutorial was a bit choppy. Um, if you'd like to download this, you I will upload it or I will put it a link to it in the. Um, and the about the this video so uh thanks for watching and uh i hope you found this tutorial helpful so um oh whoops <laughs> all right we need to we can first we can also make this um make it a little bit smoother and more realistic by adding uh dynamics to it which is just gravity so um 